So I know you just had to have that big ball on the end of that floppy stick because you saw every single one of your playing partners with it in their golf bags swinging it around. And I know a lot of you probably have some sort of dedicated closet or room or even a warehouse with all of your old training aids in it. Now listen, training aids can be great, but I find a lot of training aids to be way too obtrusive and a lot of them don't allow you to use your own golf club. What you're trying to do when you're introducing a training aid is you're trying to get that training aid to help you create awareness of your body and create new movement. And a lot of them just don't do that. But I wanna introduce something to you that's gonna help you with one very important area of the golf swing that you hear us golf instructors talk about way too much, and that's lag. Lag is a very vital piece of your golf swing that allows you to be efficient when it comes to transferring clubhead speed. It's a source of leverage. And a lot of you at home think it's some sort of mythical creature that doesn't really exist. But lag is much easier to be able to develop and preserve in your golf swing if you move your body in the correct sequence. But that doesn't mean that working on your sequence is all of a sudden gonna solve world problems. Sometimes you can work on things in the reverse order. And that's one of the things that I found fascinating about the lag stick is that when I was testing it with other students is that yes, it created a feel and sensation and a visual that they were able to latch onto to be able to show lag on camera. But it also started to wake up their legs and their hips to move in the proper sequence, which is why I endorse this thing all day long. This thing, it's less than 30 bucks and it can go into any one of your golf clubs you just simply slide it into the end of your grip, push it all the way down to where the red tip is just hanging out, and it doesn't change the weighting of your golf club, and you can do all kinds of drills. In fact, the guy that designed it is one of my best friends in the golf instruction world, Paul Dickinson, who is a phenomenal talent in his own right, played in the PGA Championship in 2022, and shares the same sort of passion that I do when it comes to helping people figure out solutions to problems when it comes to the game of golf. And this thing creates a simplified solution to one of the most important areas of the golf swing. I wanna show you one of the drills that I love to do. This is a drill that allows you to pump the hands and arms down in front of your body. And you're gonna see that as I swing the club back, the red tip slides out. We're gonna move the red tip past our lead leg and have it pointed down the target line. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump back and swing through. Now, what you wanna remember is, is that if you get that red tip past your lead leg and pointed down the target line, and then when you start to let the club release and you feel that red tip kind of hit you in the side here, it's not gonna hurt you, then you know that you preserved angle. If you feel that red tip kind of hit you in the navel or anywhere else, then you know that you probably got rid of it way too early. But like I said, as I started to test this out, I started to see people wake up and use their legs and hips. And that's what I like about this training aid very much so. It's called the lag stick. And there's all kinds of drills and all kinds of videos on the lag stick channel and all kinds of videos on the Lagstick website. If you're interested in getting one of these, like I said, it's under 30 bucks. It's not gonna take up a whole lot of room in your warehouse and you can use it in any one of your clubs. So it'll be in the link in the description below. Pick one up and enjoy it. And you can leave it in the club and hit golf balls with it without it sliding out at full speed. Pretty awesome.